This is Ralph with 13 Peppers, and today we're going to be taking a look at this big, beautiful, tasty Hawaii Beach habanero. Now the Hawaii Beach Habanero is a beautiful looking pepper. It is roughly about 50-60% larger than a standard orange habanero that you normally see. This is actually the third year I've been growing it in my garden and I absolutely love this pepper. I like the flavor, I like the heat, and I am kind of partial to a hot sauce being red instead of a different color. And this actually fits that bill perfectly by giving me a red um, sauce instead of like a bright orange or yellow. So beautiful, beautiful looking pepper. Now the Scoville on the pepper will range anywhere from roughly about a hundred and fifty thousand all the way up to about three hundred thousand. It is part of the capsaicin Chinese family and I mean it is a wonderful tasting pepper. Now the origins of the pepper actually say when I was doing my history and it's very very little is that it originated on the island of Hawaii. I guess that's where it got its name but other than that I don't have a person that had the hand in actually creating it, pollinating it, or anything else like that. So that is where we're at on that. So let's go ahead, let's open this up, and then we'll give it a taste test. I just wanted to jump right in here and let you all know I'm doing a giveaway of a bunch of my pepper spices and seasonings to one lucky subscriber when I do hit my goal of 5,000. And all you have to do is be subscribed, hit that like button, and leave a comment in one of my videos. I wanna say thank you all very much, and now back to the video. But let's go ahead, I wanna slice this open. Let's take a look at it. Oh, and this has a beautiful inside into it too. Now, <clears throat> this one is gonna have a medium thickness on the actual peppers, um, on the walls itself. On some down through here, it's a little thinner, up through here, it's actually very thick. So, <clears throat> a lot of variety in the actual walls itself but overall very good looking pepper. Typically, this is what Sterna Habanero is gonna look like inside with your placenta mostly centered around the top here with your seeds and everything off of it. And total seeds and everything in this, I'm gonna guess is gonna be probably about 60 to 70. Um, plenty of juice inside this when you actually touch and press up against the actual skin here. <clears throat> but yeah. Very, very beautiful pepper. And then as soon as I actually open it up, I get a burst of sweetness out of it too. So very, very nice looking pepper. Uh, let's go ahead and let's give this a taste. We got half the pepper right here. It has a beautiful fruity um, scent and everything to it. I mean, it's almost deceiving um, that it almost tastes just from the smell and everything, just super sweet, but yeah, it's starting to have just a little bit of a kick to it, but oh, this is wonderful. Love this pe pepper. So let's go ahead and get into it. It got a burst of sweet flavor in it. The heat is not, hmm. the heat is not pow right into your face, but it actually gradually starts to build. It's building up now. Um, <clears throat> with this one, this is going to be more of a burn across the top of the tongue, around the side of the tongue. Um, don't have anything in the back of the throat as of yet, but um, as of right now with everything settling, it's just building at this particular point. Got some beautiful flavor to this. <clears throat> so, yeah, and like I said, the heat is not too terribly intense, roughly between 150,000 Scoville and 300,000 Scoville. The one I'm eating here, to be honest with you, probably on the lower end of that scale, so probably 150, 180,000. So, my best guess. <clears throat> but, yeah, beautiful tasting pepper. And then the other thing that I like about the habaneros is it has a lasting heat, a lasting burn on it. So 
It's not going to be quick and done, but it gives you a nice even, even burn along the whole process of the pepper. Okay. Mm. Yeah, but beautiful, beautiful tasting pepper, so. Mm. Whew. Now, with this pepper, making sauces out of it is an excellent thing. Some of the fruit that I actually like with the um, habanero on that is going to be more of like a mango. I did make one last year that was actually strawberry. So we had a strawberry um, habanero, and that was actually incredible. I think I might actually do that again this year. But um, yeah. <clears throat> Great, great tasting pepper. So with that, that's gonna be about it. <clears throat> Once again, I want to say thank you very much for watching the channel. If you like what you've seen here today, please subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button. It does help me out greatly. You can also follow me on a bunch of my social medias, or you can actually go to my website, which is 13peppersbyralph.com. There I actually post the videos that I do, plus a bunch of other things on there also. So, but with that, I want to say thank you once again, and you all have yourself a very good night.